Hi everybody and welcome to the next part of the high poly modeling of the Soviet machine. So in this part we're going to continue adding detail on the top of the machine and uh, we're even going to go uh, on the back side a bit and at first I'm going to select uh, my my main body and I'm going to adjust it a bit I'm going to try and uh, pull the back side a bit uh, to the middle like uh, so as you can see I'm, I'm trying to uh, match the size better so yeah I'm moving it I'm moving like, uh, I'm moving uh, the uh, the vertices at the back a bit like so okay the whole point of this is to fix the um, the proportions of the top part uh, they're not uh, exactly uh, right so I'm trying to uh, you know move the back side a bit uh, to the middle I'm going to select that um, that top piece there I'm, uh, and I'm going to uh, edit it I'm going to go to vertex mode just going to take a look at my reference here to check out uh, uh, what should I you know move here So I'm selecting the main body again. I, I'm really thinking here, you know, which part to move, uh, what should be the best thing to um, to move the uh, in or out. I just try to get it um, to match the reference as close as possible. I'm trying to select all of these side vertices here, try not to miss any any of them. Okay. You can uh, see now why uh, making the uh, block out at the at the beginning is uh, so important, because if I if I had done the, the block out uh, perfectly, if I had uh, matched the proportions as I should have, uh, I wouldn't be uh, having such problems now. And it's always uh, very, very hard to uh, move high poly geometry. As you can see, I have uh, so many things and so many stuff intersecting with uh, each other. I have to look for um, you know a lot of uh, things when I'm moving try to select everything not to miss anything or uh, you know maybe uh, I'm, I'm not supposed to touch some of the um, mesh there so that's why it's a uh, <laughs> uh, hundred times easier to just uh, uh, make the block out properly you know it's just a simple box or very simple shape and it's uh, yeah it's easier so you should try to get that right every time so what I'm doing here is uh, taking the hinge of the side uh, element there and I'm trying to I'm going to uh, position it uh, in the back you'll see where I'll show you here I've just noticed some uh, something strange in the geometry, but yeah, you can see that that uh, I don't know what they are uh, vertices or something like that sticking out, and I guess that that's only <laughs> that's only looking strange on on the top view. But when I go and check out if everything's okay, everything seems to be fine. So I'm going to move to placing the, the hinges here. So I've uh, copied the hinge and I'm positioning uh, it properly where it should be. And now I'm going to select the side door and uh, move all the vertices 
that I need to move back yeah I've selected the door as an element and uh, control clicked on the vertex mode to convert my selection into vertices uh, that uh, way I make sure that uh, I only select um, vertices from that uh, particular element and I'm not selecting anything I don't want to select therefore moving it, therefore destroying the the geometry and so forth and uh, so on and so forth so once I have uh, everything uh, in place I'm going to select my hinge move it where it should be and also I'm uh, I'm going to yeah I'm going to scale it a bit and I realize that uh, I actually cannot scale it because this way I'm destroying uh, all the circular parts all the cylindrical parts as you can see so I've decided that I should move the edges stretch them like so it's easier that uh, this way and also I make sure that uh, I will not uh, accidentally uh, destroy some some of the geometry there mm -hmm. okay like so I'm, tr I'm going to uh, rotate them and now I'm going to copy the, the hinge uh, down and attach the two hinges with the main body once I apply the mesh smooth as you can see everything's looking good uh, you you see how you know we've made one part and now uh, we've used it again saves us uh, a lot of time remodeling stuff and I really don't don't see any point of remodeling something that you have already done once you know it's I don't know <laughs> if you want to lose your time in, in doing such things then you should do it but in, a, in each other case you know you should just use everything you've already made so I'm continuing to to that next part there I'm not really sure what's the purpose of these two boxes look they look like some kind of uh, electrical boxes I'm not sure uh, but you know I'm not supposed to be sure to create them uh, so I start off with a box here uh, again with the with auto grid turned on this way I can uh, uh, create the box uh, sitting on top of the, the other mesh and I'm sure that's uh, that it's on top of it and I'm going to uh, use the scale and the move tools to create uh, the shape better you know create that uh, hole there in the middle and after that uh, uh, create that cap at the end like so bring that to the front make a small extrusion make a small inset there and cap the end and what's left for me to do now is add the, seg the segments we need to harden the sides do the same on the on the other sides there okay I'm just checking out my reference as you can see that picture is not so good <laughs> it's actually awful <laughs> but I have no other one I'm I have to use this one going to make a connection there, make a chamfer uh, to double the edge select that box there and I'm going to hinge from uh, from an edge here I'm going to select the side edge type 19 degrees, add two segments I mean two or three, I, I'm not sure how much I added there uh, and this will create that interesting shape there I'm going to cut on the edges once more Okay. I'm 
checking uh, everything here I've decided to move those side edges uh, down a bit because uh, uh, the corners need to be a bit rounded they, they don't uh, need to be so hard and now I've uh, made another connection there in the middle and I'm going to use the ones I've already made to create the holes for the uh, bolts there I'm just going to assign my standard material and uh, the black color it's easier to see everything that way I'm going to go to uh, first I'm going to center the, the cylinder where it should be I'm going to start cutting here along the side of the cylinder nothing new here ok I've deleted the middle vertex therefore deleting all the polygons uh, associated with this vertex and now I'm going to uh, move the cylinder to the other side and start cutting again like so I'm going to do that uh, for the other two bolts as well not going to say all the, the same things so just uh, just um, create the other two holes as well. Okay, so once we have uh, all the holes ready, I'm going to delete that uh, last vertex, delete the cylinder and I'm going to connect the side uh, vertices of each hole, um, just so you know there aren't uh, any angles. Okay, I'm going to connect them like so, do the same for the other holes, again nothing new here. so just going to connect uh, that move to the last one do the same connects there okay so now I'm going to select all of the side uh, edges and I'm going to make another connection there making sure that uh, my edges uh, uh, stay the way they should be staying <laughs> okay again I've selected the side edges there and I'm going to use the move and the scale tools to create uh, the geometry I need there for the for the placement of the bolts I'm going to select all of these polygons there and uh, move them in a bit okay so now I'm uh, after checking my ref my reference again I'm uh, going to continue adding more detail here first of course I have to add the bolts so I'm going to select uh, to select the uh, one bolt here from this uh, geometry from the hinge and I'm going to make a copy of it 
and place it uh, on that box here so once I uh, I position all of the bolts I'm going to continue to the next uh, thing we have to do here with the detail okay like so rotate them uh, randomly uh, that adds uh, a bit to a bit of uh, realism to the scene going to attach it to the main uh, body here like so and I'm going to check how everything looking with the mesh smooth applied and I think it's uh, looking really good maybe I should add um, a few connects there to harden the side um, of that uh, you know element here I don't know what it what exactly uh, is but I'm going to select all of the side edges there and I'm going to make a connect okay I'm going to position everything uh, properly here select that uh, edge at the top as well bring it down don't forget to turn your um, edge constraint mode on okay I think that's looking uh, really good here so I'm going to select the box again the whole box here I'm going to make a, uh, another copy down you've probably seen on the reference yeah you can see here there are two uh, boxes electrical boxes on the side there and now we have to uh, adjust that cable that we left here to go inside the, the two boxes so I'm going to select the end vertice I'm uh, going to uh, bring it you know you know, bring it back and move it down just so it uh, reaches the the uh, bottom uh, box there I'm going to adjust it adi adding a few more uh, vertices with the refined uh, tool there and I'll bring uh, bring them uh, out of the main body geometry we're trying to uh, to make the the cable look as natural as possible you know we don't uh, want to uh, for the cable to look uh, strange like uh, <laughs> like it's not possible to sit in that uh, particular way so that's what I'm uh, I'm trying to to achieve here also following the the reference helps helps a lot of course okay I think that's looking good maybe I'll, I'll move that uh, vertex there just a bit more so what uh, should I do what uh, I have to do now is uh, select that uh, uh, holder there for the cables and I'm going to make a copy of it I'm going to uh, position it on the right spot 
course uh, rotate it as it should uh, be and move it down okay so I position the handle on the right spot just like that and I'm going to fix it up a bit I'm going to make it smaller uh, because uh, if it's so uh, if it's uh, as big as it was uh, uh, here you know it <laughs> wouldn't make much sense to be there because it was way too big so I'm going to make another copy here and I'm going to attach them both to the main body okay so now what I'm going to do is uh, finish up the the cables just uh, you know playing around with the thickness a bit I'm going to reduce the sides as I don't need uh, so many since I'm going to apply mesh smooth all them and uh, I'm going to make uh, 24 steps and convert them all uh, into editable poly and I'm going to delete the top and the, and the bottom uh, polygons we're not going to need them ok, delete those polygons as well At first, I I try to make the uh, you know these I don't know how they call them uh, elements here with bevel, but I realized that uh, it won't be so easy. I know it it will not work with bevel, so I've decided to uh, make them uh, a different way. Yeah, <laughs> I also uh, thought of uh, selecting all of these uh, side uh, polygons, but it's easier to cr to select one of these edges, hit ring, uh, again hit whoop selection after that, and I'm going to chamfer those, and now <laughs> all I have to do is uh, select uh, all those edges, which is <laughs> not so easy actually. Uh, it is easy, but uh, there are a lot of uh, edges to select. But uh, I think that's the fastest way to to make them. So yeah, I'm going to to do that. Select all of these edges. just a few more so once I have them all selected I'm going to uh, make a ring selection there Yeah, just continuing selecting all of these I know it's kind of boring but it has to be done you can fast forward uh, the video if you don't want to uh, look, that, look at that ok so now ring select convert my selection to polygons and uh, make uh, 
a small extrude there like that hit OK and yeah I think that's that's looking good actually I'm going to um, go to the edge mode which will select all the edges we had selected there again hi uh, hit ring selection and make a uh, few connections there to harden the sides of each element so now if I apply, apply the mesh smooth uh, you will see that uh, everything uh, is looking good so I'm, I'm just going to make the same procedure for all of the for the two other cables select all of the edges, ring select them uh, hit chamfer and now we have to select all of the the vertical ones like that okay again ring select them convert my selection to polygons uh, make the extrusion, select them again and connect them. It's that simple. Okay, so now I've applied the mesh smooth here to check out if everything's looking good as you've seen everything's looking uh, how it should be looking and I'm going to go to the last cable which unfortunately is the bigger the biggest and I'm going to ring select all the edges uh, unselect the ones that I don't actually need and I'm going to uh, select all the side uh, edges there okay select all of these all the way to the top yeah I have to go and select all of these edges here I guess that uh, it probably can be done uh, much faster with the newer versions of um, 3D Studio Max I think there is uh, such an option that you select every other edge you know you skip one and you select the other one uh, <laughs> if there is such thing and I'm not making this up <laughs> by accident of course uh, you should be able to select those edges very fast in the newer versions of uh, 3D Studio Max I ring select those, uh, convert my selection to polygons, ex uh, extrude them, select the edges again and make, uh, make two connections as I check with uh, 
uh, the mesh smooth, everything uh, is looking good. Yeah, I I like how how this is looking now. So I'm going to move to the next part, which will be fixing the end of the cable down there. You've probably seen on the reference there's some kind of extrusion there. going to make a connection here move it up like so don't forget to use the um, uh, edge constraint which is um, turned on and off with uh, selecting uh, with uh, using shift and X on the keyboard so I'm going to select those polygons there make an extrusion on the walk on normal and make two connections to harden the sides the top as well you can see that uh, it's looking good now but actually I decided that uh, I should um, make uh, another one I kind of messed that uh, last one up the extrusion was too small so I decided that I make that I'll make a bigger extrusion there okay make another connection bring it down extrude those polygons delete the bottom ones as we don't need them make a connection down there to harden the side okay I think that's looking good now I'm gonna check the reference once more to see what uh, what's next to do and what's next right now is uh, that protector uh, on the on the belt of the motor here I'm going to start off with a box there rotate it a bit position it properly like so move it into place I think that's that's looking good but I as you can see I have to bring the the motor uh, close to the protector For first I'll fix up the shape a bit make a connection there I've uh, I've thought of uh, making an extrusion there but actually decided that it's not uh, uh, it's not worth it I'm going to change the the shape too much and I'm not uh, I don't really like uh, doing that right now so yeah I decided to to do it some other way by bringing uh, the motor close to closer to uh, the protector there okay select all of these vertices bring them to the side Actually, I've decided that I'm uh, not going to do it that way. I'm going to select only those parts there that uh, are of the motor, of uh, the main motor and the uh, uh, foundation it is um, placed on. And I'm going to select uh, those uh, bolts there position them on the right spot again that definitely brings the motor closer to the protector 
but uh, I still don't think that uh, you know what uh, this uh, geometry is optimal here I still think that uh, it should be fixed a bit but uh, maybe I'm uh, I'm just going to uh, position the the rotation wheel where it should be and after that I will think uh, how to bring the model the motor closer as you see with uh, when moving the motor you know we move the place on that uh, protector for the cables we're going to fix that uh, later so now I make a, a few connections there in the middle just hardening the edges there uh, I paste uh, instance uh, my mesh smooth modifier to check out how everything is looking and I've decided that uh, I should select those edge loops convert them to vertices and uh, uh, bring them closer together using the scale like so I'm going to check out the end result as well I'm going to select those edge loops also bring them closer together So I'm uh, going to assign my standard material here and I'm going to go to the editable poly beneath the mesh smooth and I'm going to apply a shell modifier, uh, bring the outer amount a bit and I'm going to collapse, the, to collapse my stack uh, to the shell modifier, not with the mesh smooth, it will be much easier to uh, fix up the geometry just going to make a save there I had some maybe some kind of a uh, a bug in the scene and I've decided that uh, it's uh, easier to to save the scene now then redo all the the things I, I I've done if something happens to my scene right now and my computer crashes in some way so yeah I've selected uh, those ring um, edges there by using the ring selection I mean and um, made a connection there also I'm going to make another connection here on the side to keep that uh, edge hard and I'm going to apply the mesh smooth modifier as you can see that that's looking good right now Yeah, something again. Max made me wait for him to think of something, make the calculations. Okay. Let's see what we have in store next. Just taking a look at the at the reference there. just going to scale that uh, protector there a bit I think it should be bigger okay that that's looking good here so what I should do now is uh, uh, create a metal plate here that's uh, actually holding the, the protector to the main body like so okay select the polygons that I don't need there and delete them and what's left for me to do now is shift drag those uh, edges to the side and weld the, the vertices you can also do the same thing by capping that uh, um, edges there and making a cut in the middle where the the edge should be Okay, going to select those 
edges, making the connections we do every time and I'm going to position the plate uh, properly right there in the middle I'm going to make sure that uh, it doesn't intersect with the belt at any point so <laughs> for this I, I first need to create the belt okay okay so I'm going to the left here to check what should be done yeah obviously I have some spacing problem there uh, the, the motor needs to be uh, closer to, to the protector but I will fix that later for now I'm going to make the belt but first I have to copy that uh, element there at the, at the end uh, which will be turning something <laughs> inside the machine there making some parts work I'm not sure what exactly is happening there but yeah I need that part there and I'm going to create the belt also move uh, that uh, uh, connection um, piece there if, if I have to in order not to intersect with uh, the rest of the geometry there okay. so I have the b I have both uh, elements here and I'm going to go to the back view and start uh, making the belt I'm going to make a circle here I'm just going to uh, Uncheck enable in the renderer and in view in in viewport as well, as well. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and I'm going to make the that cylinder about so big. I mean circle, and I'm going to position it um, uh, close to to the two uh, elements here. just rotate it a bit because I'm going to delete half of it and now I'm going to connect those vertices there making two new um, splines and I can easily uh, now adjust everything I need there with the vertices and I can delete those edges or segments actually they're called segments uh, in the shapes and I'm going to weld those um, end vertices here here and at the at the other two ends like so okay so work those as well and these two at the end okay so now I have to position that spline uh, properly like so give it black color and I'm going to turn on uh, enable in renderer and in viewport I'm going to make it rectangular play with the settings a bit okay like so it should be a flat belt you've probably seen uh, such belts on cars or other machinery okay and hide everything and don't don't forget to check the mapping and the real world uh, coordinates because if you decide to uh, texture that uh, element after that you're going to have a hard time unwrapping it and you know <laughs> have a hard time uh, making the textures for it so this way 
as you can see it's uh, faster it's better okay just checking if everything's looking all right positioning that element between the the belt there and I'm going to need uh, another bolt here to hold it into place going to copy that bolt here center the pivot and position it on the outside there rotate it 90 degrees and position it right about there move it to the side <coughs> sorry so move it to the side here like so and I'm going to take uh, one of the bolts here and I'm going to copy that one as well clone as an object don't forget that and center the, uh, the pivot and I'm going to position it exactly on the on the same spot but it's going to be on the other side of the boat that's the the boat head and the other one is the screw or how it's called there it should be called like that uh, so or maybe I'm not I'm not sure so yeah after uh, I position those vertices there uh, I'm going to make another copy and move it uh, on the other side of that um, uh, object here that's holding the, the protector and once I have uh, everything done I'm going to attach them to the protector like so okay I think that's looking uh, pretty good here yeah I'm satisfied with the results checking my reference I think I'm going to adjust the shape a bit just going to move some vertices around to match the shape uh, of the object there like so, going to select those, pull them up I've noticed on the reference that uh, the edges, the sides are rounded and in my case they, were <laughs> they weren't so rounded actually they were square <laughs> you can't get more not rounded <laughs> than that and I'm, I'm just fixing that uh, now check how it's going to look when I render with uh, two iterations of the mesh smooth and I decided that I should also move uh, those edges back like that okay and move it move those down also I think that's that's looking good so I'm going to bring the iterations back to one okay and hide everything and as you can see we get uh, uh, closer to the end here you know we have uh, there's not there's not much things that uh, are left for us to model here I think that uh, that's looking uh, pretty good and we're going to end uh, this uh, video right now so uh, in the next video we're going to continue so see you in the next one guys and don't forget to save